Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to show you how quickly we can analyze Excel spreadsheet data using a Python package called Pandas. We'll be looking at a few methods that will do detailed insights into our spreadsheet data with just a few lines of code. Let's look at the data that we'll be using throughout this video. The data that I have for this video is called electric motor data. I got this data set from a website called Kaggle. Kaggle is just a website that is very useful for pulling data sets. If you want to follow along with this example entirely, the data set that I'm using is called electric motor temperature. Like I said, our data set contains information about electric motors. We have ambient temperatures, coolant temperatures, and a lot more. We can see that this data set is very large and there's no telling how many rows are in it. We'll find that out using pandas in just a moment. We'll open up a text editor. I'm using Adam for this example, and the first thing we'll need is to import pandas as pd. If you don't have pandas, just open up a terminal or a command prompt if you're on Windows, and you can use pip install pandas. If you're like me, and you have two different versions of Python, you might need to type in pip3 install pandas. But for now, assuming that you have pandas installed, we'll need to read in that data set. Wherever you downloaded it, that's the file path that you'll need to put here. Mine was on my desktop, so I'll say Excel file path will be equal to just the name of the CSV file. Mine is called electric motor data.csv. So electric motor data.csv. Now we need to create a data frame using the spreadsheet. We can do that by reading in the CSV file. So PD, so we're referencing pandas and we'll type in read CSV as a method. We'll pass that Excel file path. Now we'll have a data frame that has all the information from that Excel sheet within this one data structure. Let's go ahead and verify that we've read this in successfully. We'll do that by just accessing an attribute of our data frame. So let's say that we want to pull out the columns. We'll save this and open up a terminal or a command prompt and execute our script. Mine is just called example.py and we should get back all the columns of our CSV file, which we do. So now that we've accessed our Excel sheet successfully, let's go ahead and pull out some more information and just a few lines of code to see how quickly we can analyze this data using pandas. The first method I want to show you is a method called info. Let's go ahead and create a DF info, and this will just be equal to our data frame, and then we'll apply the method info. We'll print this to see the result. But what info does is just gives us general information about our data frame. We'll execute, and we see that we get back general information about our data frames. So now we know that we have almost a million columns in this data frame, the type of data within those columns, and that each of the columns actually contains information and is not null. This is a good starting step to see how many rows of data you have and what type of data type each of those columns contain. But let's look at something that is a little bit more insightful. We'll use a method called describe. So let's print df.describe and see what this returns. We'll execute again. Instead of just getting back the columns and the type of data within those columns, the describe method will give us a lot more information about each specific column. We see that we're given a count, which is the same information that we had before in the info method, but now we have things like a mean, a standard deviation, min and max values, and then percentiles of that information. There's 13 columns within the spreadsheet, and that's a lot of information to display in the terminal. So that's why some of it is hidden with these dots. But if you wanted any specific information about any of those columns and you wanted to see it in your terminal, you could just index this data frame using that column. So let's go up and we'll pull a column out that we can't currently see. Let's say the ID. We'll take this and we'll index it out like that. Now we'll execute again, and we should get back just the ID column being described, which is exactly what we get. Now let's say that we wanted to narrow down our data frame a little bit more, and we only care about certain columns. Let's say that we only cared, we'll scroll back up to the very top. Let's say that we only cared about the torque in regards to the profile ID. So let's say that we wanted the maximum torque number for each of the profile IDs. We can do this using a group by method. We'll put grouped data frame will be equal to the beginning data frame. We'll use the method group by, 
and we just need to pass in the column that we want to group on. For us, we said that we wanted the profile ID. So we'll take that and paste it here. We need to apply some type of function to it. So let's say that we wanted the maximum torque. And now we just need to print grouped data frame indexed on the torque. So this should return us the maximum torque grouped on the profile IDs. So for every profile ID, we'll have a maximum torque value. We'll execute again. And now for each of our profile IDs, we get a maximum torque value. So now we know how to get general information. We know how to describe every column in our data frame, how to pull out certain columns in our data frame, and then how to group on those columns in regards to another. But now let's say you only wanted certain values within a column. So you wanted to only pull out values that match a certain criteria. We can do this with Boolean indexing. Let's say that we wanted to access only certain values in our data frame where the data frame column of profile ID was equal to four. So if we're doing this using Boolean indexing, we're saying we only want our data frame's values where the data frame column of profile ID is equal to four. Let's save and execute this. This returns us all the rows where the profile ID is equal to four. But this is a lot of information to analyze just in your terminal. So let's say that we wanted to create a new spreadsheet with just this information. We can do this by creating a variable here. So I'll say profile ID for data frame is equal to this statement. And then all we need to do is say profile ID data frame for dot to Excel. And then we'll create an output dot XLSX file. Now when we execute this, we should be returning an Excel file to the same directory that we're working in. Once that finishes up, let's go access that new output.xlsx file, which has been written to my desktop. We'll open that, and we'll zoom in. So now we separated only the information that we wanted, so profile ID equal to four, and put it in a brand new spreadsheet. There's tons of ways that we can do data analysis using pandas. So if I missed your favorite method, be sure to post in the comments so I can see it and others as well. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until next time.